our machines, they could last years before they need recalibration. We also mentioned, Pavel, there's a bunch of other machines out there as well. Would you mind yeah. kind of opening the door to the audience who's learning about tree mill right now about some of the other options you might have? Well, uh, we're, we're manufacturers that, that uh, design and manufacture machines that are rather on the bigger side, let's say. So we started one by one meter with three axis machines and everything else is bigger and much bigger. This is uh, our mid-size machine, three by two meters of travels, X by Y is the middle, middle size. It's also the most, let's say, demand, in demand machine uh, because you can put 95% of, of mold sizes into this machine and fully machine them. But we have machines that go up to, let's say, 13 meters in X axis, four and a half meters in Y axis. So it could be really huge machines. Um, this machine is special, like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, not only because of the box in box of the cross beam and the concrete in the sidewalls, but, but, uh, sidewalls, but also in the base that it has uh, already included with the machine. So it can be installed on a flat floor. But majority of our other machines uh, require a special foundation because they are bigger, they are, um, yeah, let's say they are bigger and smaller as well, but they require foundation because they uh, cannot be easily transported as a sort of single piece like, like this one. Um, so the foundation needs to be prepared, it needs to be contoured so that the chip conveyors can be flush with the floor of the shop uh, so that the table can be flush with the floor. So all the accessories for the table, for the chip conveyor, have to be underground. So that's why the contoured foundation is required, roughly, let's say, three feet of, of uh, in depth. But uh, it is worth it is for, worth it for a machine that has such a long life, service life. This machine should last 20, 25 years easily. And... Uh, Thanks to the concrete and the direct connection between the sidewalls, the concrete of the sidewalls and the concrete of the, of the let's say, shop floor, uh, the machine is like part of the building in the end. So all the vibrations or, yeah, vibrations that are generated during the machining are spreading into the whole floor of the building. So, yeah, it could be 200 ton floor. So, and the machine is in the end part of it. So the machines that require foundation have this sort of disadvantage that it needs to be built for it, but they are extremely stable and extremely easy to uh, calibrate because the calibrations last a really long time as well. Uh, so yeah, some, some machines you need to, not, I would say not our machines, but many machines you need to recalibrate quite, quite often, sometimes every two or three weeks. Our machines, they could last years before they need recalibration. Uh, again, let's say geometrical uh, uh, realigning. So those are the, let's say, specifics of our other uh, machines that we have in our portfolio. They're bigger, wider, they require foundation, but there is a good, uh, good reason for that as well. Well, thank you all for watching. There is stability in this machine, in Tree Mill. There is stability when investing for your company. And there's stability in this conversation as well, my friend. So thank you so much for conveying this message to the audience. I am, I'm sold. I'm definitely sold. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you for speaking English with me because I think your English is better than my English even. So Pavel, <laughs> so. you've been amazing. Thank you for educating the audience as well. Thank I you. do appreciate you and uh, keep up the good work, my friend. Thank you for the time and for the interview. My Appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you.